Today we're going to discuss layers, filters and selection and just on a basic level and see how they interact together because it's quite difficult to understand why you would use a layer uh, without an adjustment or a filter or a selection. So let's go and look at the basics. We've got a very simple image here uh, of a deer and we're just going to first of all just add a layer. So along the bottom here we've got add pixel layer. All of these options here are available in the top option so um, you can create a new layer here, same thing. And basically what we've done is we've think of it as a transparent sheet of uh, plastic over the top of your image and we're now going to draw on it. So I'm going to pick up a paintbrush that's over here. I'm going to pick a colour and I can just draw on top of the image. There we go. And you can see on the pixel layer the image uh, the paint brushing that I've done. And what I'll do is I'll do another one. This time I'll pick it from here, I'll add another one. And I'll change my colour. And if I start drawing, you can see it going over the top of the image and the green painting. So this is a second sheet of plastic over the top of your image on top. Now if I was to take that sheet of plastic and put it underneath the one with the green paint on it, this is what you would see. So now the blue is sitting underneath the green. And it's, it's as simple as that. Now what we might want to do is rub some of this uh, out. Um, we could use the eraser brush but that would actually destroy the pixels on, on this um, image. So what I can do is click on the green and I can add a mask. Now you can see that's actually next to the image and it's white. And the reason for that is white will reveal, which is everything's revealed at the moment. But if I paint black on here, it will remove the uh, parts of the image. So as you can see here, the uh, color has gone from just now black and white and shades within. So I'll drop that down to black. So my paintbrush is black now. And it's not actually painting black on the image. What it's saying is wherever I paint, mask out that part of the image. There we go. And you can see up here this part is black. And I come down here. But you can see it's just affecting this particular layer. The blue one below is unaffected. Now at the moment I've got my hardness, flow and opacity all set to 100%. Let's just drop hardness down to zero. And if I draw now, if I just zoom in a little bit, you can see there is now a soft edge. The image is coming through underneath, but it gives you a nice soft edge. Now you'll see the reason for that later. It's very unusual that you want very hard edges when you're uh, trying to add uh, effects to your photo. You generally want a soft edge so it merges in nicely. So that's hardness. Let's put that back up to 100% and look at flow. What's the difference? Now if I drop flow down to let's say 20% 20, 20 it's a little bit similar but it's not the same. So if I draw across this and I keep doing it, what it's saying is that each stroke is only 20% of a full uh, cut through the, through the image. So again, it, it slows down uh, the effect. So in essence, if I just leave my brush here and just tap once, that's 20% of the way through. Tap it again, 40%, 20%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%
tap it again 60%, tap it again 80% and tap it again 100%. So it took five goes to get through um, the top layer to the bottom, to the layer underneath. And again that's very useful for controlling the effect, slowing it down, not being so harsh. Um, opacity we'll talk about either later or not at all. <laughs> I'll just move those back up. So that's the very basics of what a layer is. It's a sheet sitting over the top of your image and you're going to add something to that sheet. And a mask is a way of selectively controlling that by removing it from some areas. So what we want to do is um, delete these two layers. So basically I've just clicked on it, held the shift key down and selected the second one. And down here you've got a delete button and I can remove them. Now as photographers we don't often paint directly onto, onto an image. What we want to do is add uh, various controls like exposure, colour, saturation, etc. But it's the same principle. So if I come down to here, I've got adjustments. So I've got things like levels, white balance, HSL, black and white, brightness, exposure. They're also available up here. So if I look at filters, oh, sorry, layers, exactly the same ones. And you've got uh, a load of blur and noise. They're actually available here. So if I click on that one, you've got your blurs and your pinching, adding, adding noise, taking noise out. But what we'll do is we'll just do something basic. So we'll add an adjustment. And what we'll do is uh, we'll change the exposure. So if I just grab that and just increase the exposure, it's going to affect the entire photo and increase the exposure. Now that's great. Sometimes you just want to, um, that, that's fine. It's, it's just a landscape and you, you shot the photo and it came out a little bit dark and you just want to generally increase the exposure. But what you might want to do is do that selectively. So what I can do is if I pick a black paintbrush, increase it, let's reduce the hardness. And where I don't want that as dark, I can just brush over the top and remove that exposure and just reduce it down and you can see here exactly what's happening um, now if, if I hold the alt key down and click on the exposure mask you can actually see where I've painted which is quite handy because I've missed a bit up here and I can I can just uh, make that a little bit more even okay click anywhere else and it will go back to normal so what I've done is I've reduced the uh, exposure at the top of the photo and increased it at the bottom of the photo so although this is a wildlife shot you know that's quite a common thing to do to a uh, landscape where you want to darken down the sky for instance okay let's delete that we'll go back to where we were now another way of doing it and this is where we start in including selection so although I can add a uh, filter to the image generally it'd be nice if if I could do the selection rather than just use a paintbrush particularly where it needs to be more accurate so in this case I can pick uh, my uh, selection brush and this time I'm just going to pick the deer itself so I'll just drag along here and it's selecting the deer Go in, 
right, I'm going to have to zoom up and reduce my brush Reduce it again. There we go. And what I want to do is not include these areas here. So what I can do, you can you've got add and subtract to them to the mask, but easiest is just hold the alt key down whilst you're uh, picking, and it will just pick. It will subtract those little areas uh, for you. Let's just click a little bit more up here. There we go. So now we've selected the deer. Let's just uh, add a little bit more to the nose here. There we go. And I can refine the edges. So basically, um, I can make a better selection along here. Let's just refine that. Just run the brush over the top let's just have a look and it's just refining that edge uh, I can also say this is definitely foreground so I can just click on this bit here and that will add, the, add it to the foreground and I, I tend to find that better way of uh, selecting um, you can spend more time on it and what I'll do is I'll just feather it slightly and that means it, it, it just makes the edge not as hard add three pixels to that and apply so your marching ants still look the same but it has done an awful lot more to it made it much more refined now I'll do exactly the same thing I'll add uh, an exposure adjustment and I'll increase the exposure but now is only affecting the deer and that's a, a great way of selectively um, applying filters uh, to your image now I'll take that out and what I can do I can actually up here is uh, invert the selection now you can see it's got marching ants it's going all the way around the edge and excluding the deer so what I can do is do another exposure adjustment and this time I could bring down the exposure to the background now we're being a bit extreme here uh, let's get rid of the marching ants just deselect and you can really make your photo pop I've obviously overdone this um, so I can come back here they're all live so I, I can I can adjust them as I see fit okay so that's the basic principles of adding a layer adding a filter and then selectively adding it to your image whether that be via a selection or using your paintbrush thank you